Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here on Southern Cross Station. This is a new mod map out by Hox23, 269.66 megabytes download. This is an Australian map. I know a lot of people have been asking when are we going to get an Australian map. I don't know if any other ones we've had so far have been on console. I don't think we have. Uh, the map looks like this most of the cell points are to the south on new farmer we start with field one field 20 we've got a few grass pastures which don't have uh numbers which you can pick up prices aren't too expensive either um it, it's a big map in so much as it's like it's australian big fields open country you know as far as i can see kind of thing even the big fields to the north 676 for both of those fields 377 248 there's a little bit of forestry up in the top corner there's a watchtower up there as well so yeah price is not too bad uh we start with uh sleep trigger on new farmer but we don't on farm manager and start from scratch we'll talk about slot counts in just a moment this is where we begin i'm going to start well, actually, directly behind me, uh, we've got a 15,000 litre fuel tank, one of the ones you can fill up yourself, or someone else comes and fills it for you. We've got a 12.2 metre cultivator. We do start off with some big machinery and equipment. Rostle mash over there. We've got a 12 metre Lemkin Solitaire 12, just there. With a new Holland C CH770, so CR. We do start with the Mack truck. We do start with the Load King, uh, Load King Distinction, is it? Yeah, Load King Distinction Triple Hopper trailer. Uh, we've got John Deere with some front loader gear, pickup, and Berkman trailer. So we'll grab the pickup as we head just outside the buildings. Now, some of the buildings here at the main yard. Oh, there's actually a few of the sheds around are fixed in place. If I go into build mode and we go out, a lot of these are fixed in place. They don't come up with blue. Uh, you can't remove them. Some of the buildings you can. As far as I can tell, there are no custom mods been put in by the map maker. Um, contracts are available, so you can do contract work. You can if we go onto here and we scroll down. Some of the contracts actually pay out. Oh, so I've got a couple there, but yeah, spraying on field 16, 33 grand. Because like I say, they're fairly large size fields we do have interesting this is one of the few maps i'm again i'm trying to think where you start with a flat bottomed bin rather than the farmer ones that have the grates and stuff we've got um here and a little bit further south two of the meridian uh flat bottom bin 3608 these are 980,000 litre capacity bins but you do need augers um augers to load them to put stuff into them um, and I think you need the augers to take out as well we've got a water point just over there plenty of shared space actually I'm going to whiz down and show you the other one then we'll do the farmhouse then we'll head out sort of to the top and do a route round what I'm really liking about this is how vastly different the landscape is to any other map we've had on console so far I think um, I know it's ridiculous I've never been to Australia I've seen plenty of television programs <laughs> um, it does have a very Australian feel. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? We've got a bit of a ford across there. And as we go around, we've got the southern part. Do you start with a new farmer? And there's the second bin just there. So two of those at 980,000 litres. And more shed space just there. Actually, I'm going to have to put the map out. Don't think I can get across the river there, no. So yeah, no shortage of shed space whatsoever. It does say the climate has been changed to affect Australian, to reflect Australian uh, seasons. So when you go up onto the weather, uh, generally speaking, it's a lot hotter during the summer. The winters aren't as cold, that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Now there's a lot of fencing. Um, as far as I can tell, the fencing isn't removable. But we have got a lot of grass pasture, uh, to play around with if we come across here you'll see inside there we've got a sprayer and then we've got the first of the augers so we've got the large is it conveyor conveyor auger we've got an auger wagon big old rossell mash tractor and then the smaller is, is that the meridian one i can't remember yeah 
of the August. Now's a good time to talk about slot count, I guess, because that's a lot of the equipment and machinery. Uh, slot count on New Farmer is 1,010. If we come onto here and come down to our start machinery, uh, the medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 7810, we've already seen. We've got the Rossell Mash RI72375. We've got the Mac Anthem 6x4. Uh, the Harvester, we've already looked at. We've seen that CH770. We've got the pickup, the trailer, the distinction, triple hopper. We saw the auger wagon, we just went past GTW330. Belt systems, we've got the conveyor and the Meridian. Front loader gear, sprayer, we just saw in the uh, shed. And then the seed and cultivator, we've looked at and header and the Berkman trailer. If you come onto here on farm manager and start from scratch, the slot count drops to 842. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture now. The picture's taken from over there, looking in this direction. So the slot count comes right down. You don't have any of the any of the buildings that can be removed. And again, if I go into build mode, and we'll go to... Right, so that's blue. That can be removed. That can be removed. It will come up there to sell, or you can go on to demolish and demolish them. The silos can be removed, and the farmhouse over here can be removed as well. Um, so yeah, from over there, looking this way, it looks a bit like this. And here's the weird thing. The only thing you start with over in a shed over there is the Mack truck. I don't know why the Mack truck has been left. Um, but you, you do start on all three game modes with the Mack truck. As well. Some, yeah. If you get rid of that, you can get the slot count down to 820. If you want to get the slot count even lower, you absolutely can. Um, at the main farmhouse, we do have a sleep trigger and we have a wardrobe. This is... yeah... If you're Australian, don't be annoyed. It does have an American flag on the house. Anyway. <laughs> so sleep trigger, wardrobe trigger around the side there. And I love the fact that north there's no cell points. But it, it just has that feel with the fence line that just goes off. Off into the distance. And I think, like I say, it has a very fresh feel. It, it is not completely flat. There's a slight sweep here and there, but pretty much, pretty much flat. So, we had just that, and you see what I mean? Just heads off into the distance. I like it. This has, again, a very nice feel to it. So, we're going to head out towards the main road, and we're going to do an anti-clockwise route round. We'll take in all the cell points. What I'm loving as well, all the little creek beds, and there's loads of little details nice little features all thrown in as far as textures go and stuff it's pretty standard and like i say as far as mods thrown in i i, I couldn't find anything looking through the build mode and looking through vehicles so out onto the main road now the other thing i haven't found um there's no animal pens you don't start with any animal pens Sometimes you have to buy plots of land on maps and they pop up, but I've had a look around and I haven't come across any um, showing on the map or actually out on the map itself. I haven't got found a biogas plant. I don't think there's a biogas plant, but it's fairly flat and there's plenty of space, so if you want to buy a plot of land, one of the grass areas, or I'm pretty sure you can put it in if you wanted to. So first, the main cell points we're coming to, pretty much all the cell points are nice, big buildings. Um... This is Grain Corp. And the cell point is tucked away right in between the large silos just there. It's another one of those maps as well that makes it feel a lot bigger because you've got rivers running kind of around the map. There's not that many crossing points. So you find yourself having to drive a fair way. Now I know some people want, will find that, or may find that frustrating. I, you know, I don't know, but I say it does give you that feel because um, you've got the river that runs right the way across here. So you have to kind of pick your routes round to get to places. I, I like that. There is a railroad we're going to get to that runs across there. I haven't seen a train go past. I don't think one does. But again, it just adds that feeling that as you're heading south down towards the town where all the cell points and stuff are, the railroad runs through, and it's going to be one of those ones, because it runs for thousands of miles, it only comes through every now and again kind of thing, you know. So, heading up to the western side of the map now. I will do what I usually do, and I'll show you on the map where we've been, where we are, that kind of thing. 
Uh, we are heading to Southern Cross Grain. Another huge expanse, uh, more shel shelter space, corners and edges of fields for putting your equipment out of the blazing heat and sun. So we cross other railroad tracks here. Now this is one thing I did find. I'm on PlayStation 5. Um, is this when you, when things render into the maps now? It all happens quite quickly. I've noticed that you can see the flickering. This is the only place on the map I've come across it. And it was doing that. The cell point is just in there, the Southern Cross Grain. But yeah, that flickering. It, it, you can't ignore it, it's there, you know, it's, it's noticeable, but it's the only place, like I say, that I've come across it on the map. Right, heading out from there. I will show you on the map actually as we get out and swing around. I love that you can see all these big buildings as because it's so flat, you know, out and it, and that feeling of it just did it going on and on, it just give it helps with that feeling. Uh what was I coming on here to show you? Oh yeah. I remember now. Um so we started the main farm here. Did all around the farm, went down to the bottom silo there, crossed back over the ford, then we came out there and all the way up around there to the main road. And we came down across the bridge there, into the first one there, Grain Corp. Then we came out to the west here, as it says there, Southern Cross Grain. Now we're on here and we're going to head back up towards the town. Um, so we'll flick back past there. What's great, there's a little water point. Like I say, there's loads of really nice features on this. But kind of as you drive around, you think, oh, that's cool, that's nice, that's, you know, and I say it so many times when I do map tours that a lot of these things, if it wasn't there, you'd never know. But it, by it being there, it just adds a little bit more, you know. It just adds something that, I don't know, I just think it's brilliant. It's, it's really well done. So back up across the railroads. And then turning right just there. See there, just the side little tracks running in and out of it yeah love it right so now we're heading to the main town itself and then we've got we've got a lot of cell points right on top of each other here i have got them all written down bear with me because i going to keep looking down because it's unlike usually on a map tour as you drive around i've got time to look between each point uh, but they are pretty much all on top of each other here so when we get to the point there, we've got the fuel station, gas station just off to the left there. If we come out of here and cut across, we've got the debris crusher just in here. To the right after the debris crusher, we've got the Southern Cross um, flour mill. This is just a cell point. That's not a production chain. You just see it through there. That's a flour mill cell point. We've then got the cereal factory, which is a production point. It's a sell point, but if you want to buy it for productions, you can. As we sweep around here, we've got another sell point. This one here is the Southern Cross Animal Feed sell point, and that's just there. And then across here, we've got two lime, lime stations right on top of each other, on either side. I'm assuming that's intentional. They're both on the map, so we've got, yeah, we've got two lime stations just there. I was I kept thinking one of these points I'll come into and there'll be a biogas plant to buy, but like I said, I haven't come across it. And I'm not knocking the map maker for that, I'm just pointing out, you know, I haven't come across one, that's all. And I thought that I might somewhere. As uh, so we carry on, on the right hand side we've got the sugar mill, part of the production chains. Don't think I'm thinking we'll come to that, all that stuff in a minute. Because I've, I've kind of done a route round spinnery for your cotton and your wool. It's just there, again, production chain. And as we come around here, we've got the dairy to the left. Turn down here. We've got our animal dealer. You can come and buy your chooks. And other animals, obviously. <laughs> and then back out. River running up that side to the right as well. wrong side of the road there we go should have stopped there oil mill just across the road there carpentry 
just here to the right to the left we've got the bakery to the right we've got the grape processing if we turn up here so grape processing unit is just there to the left we have got the machinery stores this is the main machinery store for all of your farming needs uh, there's your buy point your workshop trigger is just here this is the reset point as well if you need to reset something it resets out on this area just here and then from here what have i missed oh yeah back out here we have got the fast food restaurant just to the right there and then just over there you can see those raised flaps i can you see those that's the grocery mart sell point just over there so if we look onto the map we went past that little watering hole down here fuel station to Bree crusher which is a route round that was where the two line points were out there to the livestock market oil mill carpentry dairy i'm trying to remember what they were now bakery <laughs> they'll come to me in just a second bakery great processing unit uh, main machinery store, fast food restaurant, grocery mart, and now we're going to head back out from here. Uh, turning left, I think it was. Yeah, pretty sure it was. Back out and across the railroad, railway. It just feels very fresh and open. I think that's what, I, that's what I'm liking about it. So, continuing east now, we're coming to the last of the cell points. I love this railroad and road bridge right next to each other. To the right, now this isn't um, because there's not a train you can actually use um, this is just a cell point just tucked in there uh, that's the Grain West Corp I know it's east but it's Grain West Corp so we're just there and then to the north we've got the sawmill from there like I say it just heads up we go back to the main farm or we go right about up to the top there whichever track you want to take there's a river bed like a creek bed that runs up the side it's just yeah I don't know what else to say really. Oh, the other thing I didn't point out as well, I don't know if you know, just on the back of the pickup. Um, who else does that? Cavalier, I think, does that, doesn't he? Cavalier Roy. Hox 23 on the number plate. Of course, you can change the number plate to whatever you want it to be, but it starts off with Hox 23. Across to the sawmill, which is just in here. All sub production chains if you want to buy it. pretty quick this one I, I hope you've got I kind of got a feel for the map as I've driven round I prefer the driving to flying I know some people do their map tours by sort of an aerial flight round but I suppose doing it by helicopter would be quite cool wouldn't it but anyway from here we'll head out river to the left I'm sure it's like a, a dried creek bed kind of thing to the right hand side but yeah, terrain's lovely. The lighting seems bang on to me, absolutely spot on. Colour palette works. It's not too washed out, it's not too bright. It just seems to fit, you know. It is spot on. There we go. That's Southern Cross Station by Hox23. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.